Hello. Yep, I'm back. What do you? What can you do? I just keep showing up. I mean, really. You'd think I'd get over this by now, but no, you're stuck. Anyway, because there was a big sale, I picked up a new palette. It's not one that I have. It's not a maker that I have another palette for. But at $7.50, the berries by Juvia's Place just, like, had me by the throat. And let me tell you, that is so pretty. What I've got on my eyes today is this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. This is the only one that got left out. And I had a time playing with these. I mean, an absolute time playing with these. Pretty, pretty. And it's like everything on my face today is just powder because I'm hot. And not just my face. It's warm here. This little edge of the desert is warm. Warm. Really warm. The um, lip is LA Colors Shiny Lip Gloss. And what was the number or the name? Or something. Flash. Flash. Because it looks a little like some of the other colors that are in the berries. Okay, yeah. Purple shirt. Maybe not such a great choice, but hey. Purple shirt. Green hair. There you go. Anyhow. I am currently in the last few days of the last week of a class that was on writing feature articles. Now, this was part of the, the English degree base course, but it's also part of one, one of two minors that I'm doing. It's business writing. The other one is psychology. Now, Monday starts the next class, and I can't wait. <laughs> Abnormal psychology. <laughs> that one's going to be fun. But this is yet another class down on getting to the finish line. The finish line at this point is less than half a page away on a list. Yeah, so sometime late spring, early to mid-summer next year, I should be graduating with my BA in English. Of course, unless I have like boot coops to bucks, I will not be walking with my class. I'm here, they're there. Um, originally, when I started doing this, I was still living in West Virginia. And then we went to Florida. And I was going, okay, bit of a trip. Eh, not so much. We'll, we, we should still be able to at least go do the walk. Now I'm in Oregon. The school is in southern New Hampshire. Much longer trip back. I love being in school online. This has been a really great experience. But... 
yeah, if I want to walk for my diploma with my class, I have a long trip. I don't see this happening. I will probably get all of my regalia and all that and have people take pictures of me and the robes and the honor cords and yada yada. But, hi. <laughs> Yeah, I, do, I don't think I'm going to make it all the way back to New Hampshire. Which is kind of sad, but hey, it's the way it works. And I'm too far into the program and so close to the end that I am not, not going to change schools at this point. It was suggested that I could change to Eastern Oregon and be able to walk because it's all, it's at the next big, the, the campus is at the next big town up where the Walmart is. And I'm going, I'm almost done now. No. No. Not doing it. It's, no. That would be ridiculous. Not doing it. Just to be able to take a stroll across a stage? No. Not worth the hassle. If I go for the walk, it's going to be all, going all the way back to New Hampshire if somehow a miracle happens and the skies open and money falls. I'm not waiting with bated breath, okay? Okay. Not waiting, not holding my breath. Wrong shade of blue. It just is not a good shade of blue for me. So, yeah. But that's where that stuff is. I've almost got the manuscript for the book moved into the formatting program. Almost. Because when I did the original manuscript, it's in one long document. So I'm actually having to go in and pick up pieces and put it in the chapter format for the formatting stuff. So I pick it up and I put it on the chapter and I save that and I move it over and I go back and grab another section and go thunk, put it into this next spot with the chapter headings. I wish I had found this particular format or way long time ago. No, really. Way long time ago. Oh, by the way, the look, yes, I filmed it. No, I'm not going to run it right this minute, but yes, it's on film. It'll be in here in a bit. Just wanted to tell people how things work. Like I said, though, I just... I had a little tiny um, four pan from Juvia's that was gifted to me, but it was the Nubian, which is all just browns. And I wanted something a little different. And I had passed on the Nubian to my daughter-in-law with her big brown eyes, who absolutely adores neutrals. And I said, here. She loves it. So when the sale came up, I said, I need to put Juvia back in my collection. So, and yes, Juvia is currently out of, of order from all the other stuff that I've gotten in recently. She should have technically been back a ways, but not doing it. I decided to do it my way. I'm just like that. Anyway, it looks like I'm keeping up my grade point average. I should come out of the, the 
feature writing with a solid B. So I'm not dropping my grade point average. Yay! They gave, we had to do three different feature stories. One of them included interviewing some. Now, I could have picked one of you guys. I could have, but I didn't. Yeah, I know, I'm so awful. I didn't pick one of you. I picked my best friend from high school in another class for an interview. Worked perfectly. Yeah. Okay, that LA Colors likes to shift a bit. I was wondering why it felt funny there for a minute. In this case, I interviewed my darling husband. No, really. I, I did an actual questions and answers and, and interview. He is doing artwork on the computer that he basically learned to be able to continue doing art after the stroke. Now, he's doing a series of pieces of art. And if any of you are familiar with the tarot, that's what he's working on. He's down to having just two suits left to finish. And then he's going to expect me to write the book. Yeah, no kidding. Um, so, I'm actually pretty excited about it, but the interview was great. I treated the whole situation, including asking him about his, you know, biography material. I asked him questions as if I did not know him at all and I went from there but it literally you know where'd you go to school what was your major yada da 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 you know what made you decide to do this do you believe like some others that I've heard of who believe that if you're doing a tarot deck you manifest and or live each card as you're doing them in some way and you know we went through this whole thing and it was really really interesting because there are some things that he's done that I literally managed to forget. It just, everything else that goes on, you, there are some small things you forget, but it's something you didn't really want to forget. So going through this reminded me of a lot of stuff that he's been through, that I've been there with him, but didn't remember. It's interesting. It's also interesting hearing him talk about why he's doing the artwork he's doing, how he's doing it. Kind of spiff. By the way, the uh, one that I did that was the project that I turned into a video that I put up for everybody to look at. I got an A on. Got an A on that one. Got an A on the interview with the old man. So, the other 
feature article I had to do was based on a travel log. So I picked up a travel log, travel log piece from somebody doing the Appalachian Trail because I used to live along the Appalachian Trail. I have hiked chunks of the Appalachian Trail. No, I have never made the full run on that beast. Not going to do it now either. It was different though because it talked about the mental and emotional journey that the hiker went on much more than the scenery. I mean, everybody and their Uncle Fudd who does that hike can talk about the scenery till the cows come home. Really? Really? The scenery is absolutely spectacular, whether you're in the trees or in one of the meadows where you can see all the mountains or along a stream or whatever. But she talked about going through an emotional reset because she's had to do this in sections. She's able to save up enough time where she can literally take two months out of a year from her job and hike for two months, except in this one. She went home for two weeks because she needed to go home and think about why she was doing this. So after her two week reset and her rethinking why she was really doing this and convincing herself to set aside, I need to do this many miles in a day, I need to get this far, and I need to do this. She kept realizing that she was spending so much time trying to stay on this tight schedule that she was getting nothing out of the hike except some exercise. So from the point that she went home for two weeks and then came back from that point if she didn't get a certain number of miles or kilometers in a day that's okay if she stayed in a town in a bed and breakfast more than one night that's okay you get tired doing this stuff and it made a big difference to her experience on the Appalachian Trail. She took the time and deliberately took the time to stop and smell the flowers. Not just look at them as she went by. Stop and smell the flowers. Stop and dangle your tired feet in an ice cold creek along the trail. Yeah, it might be cold, but dang, it's an experience. Something you'll be able to recall if you feel cold water. Something that you'll be able to recall because of the scent. And that was a great article. It really was. And, you know, I looked up all kinds of stuff about the Appalachian Trail, even though a lot of it I already had in my head since I lived along it and hiked it myself, but I needed the references to put in the paper. So, you know, I looked up things like how many people have done this, how many people are projected to do the full trail hike, even if they have to do it the same way and, and do it in segments like this. And some of the details from that were pretty fascinating. But the fact that she did this and took away a completely different experience than what she had started out with the first days on the trail was fascinating. Fascinating. And yeah, I got an A on that paper too. 
My papers I usually do pretty well on. It's some of the unstructured discussions. Because you've got people putting up topics in the unstructured discussion. You have to make a, you, you, you give your opinion on the topic. The classmates come in and they give their opinion on your opinion or what you would do what they would do differently to write a paper about it and you do the same thing with at least two other of your classmates and it, it's like everything on that level is so subjective that you're not necessarily going to get you know an a on everything i'm fine with that I don't have to kill myself to get an A on everything. I like it when it happens. Don't get me wrong. I really like it when it happens. But I'm at a point in my little tiny life where the fact of a letter on a line in a transcript could throw me into a tailspin. Yeah, not so much anymore. Not really. Yeah, it bums me out when I do really poorly. It's like one of my math classes. I had so much trouble with that math class that I barely scraped through. I mean, I came out with a C. Could be worse. I had been going, looking at a D or lower, and I was going, Ugh. I used to be pretty good at math, but my first husband liked to use my head as a battering ram against walls. Kind of knocked that part loose. No, I'm not asking for sympathy. Been there, done that. Tore up the t-shirt, use it for cleaning rags. Anyway, that's pretty much where things are. Now, if you really want to see what I did to do all of this, hang in there. It's coming. Be good. <laughs>